Hello students, myself Anupal Choudhury and I am here to deliver some important topic regarding your subjects of chemistry which may help you to solve the question of your board exam as well as competitives. We need to sort out some things that is basic fundamentals of organic chemistry under which we need to discuss resonance hyperconjugation, inductive effect, under resonance, plus R, minus R effect and organic acid base strength. So first of all, what is mean by resonance? Resonance means the delocalization of pi electron cloud through a conjugation. Why pi electron cloud? Because we know that between sigma and pi, which one is more stable? Sigma bonds are more stable. Why? Because sigma bonds are formed due to the direct overlap between the orbitals. Say, this is Px, this is Py, this is Pz and it is also the Px, Py and Pz of another atoms. Then when sigma bond is formed, x axis has been considered as bonding axis if then px px form sigma bonds and pi y py pz pz they are able to form not sigma they are able to form pi because pi bonds means sidewise overlap so pi electrons are less tightly held by the nucleus that is why resonance means we need to talk about the, the sigmatropic shift of pi electron clouds from one place to another place. For example, if we follow the example of benzene ring, then how many pi bonds are there? All of these are sigma because they are single bonds and these double bonds are known as pi bonds. So these pi electrons can be moved from one place to another, from one place to another, from one place to another. That is why the structure changes like this. But are they different? They are same. So they are from canonical, they are known as canonical forms. So this is known as resonance. If we follow the example of carbonate ion, then this O minus can be shifted to these electrons and as well as it will form O minus, O minus and O. Another structure may also forms like this. So here this structure will form C double bond O, O minus and here also O minus. So all of these are, all of these are resonating structures because pi electrons are shifted but the initial and final structure remain same. So this is the short trick how to remember resonance. Now come to the hyperconjugation part. Hyperconjugation means it is an important thing for the stability of, judge the stability of alkenes. Hyperconjugation means if an alkene like this, you know this is propene, at longest chain three carbon atoms are there longest chain three carbon atoms are there and double bond is there so it is propene prop one in so how can we identify this is propene because double bond is the identifying group here and we know that the carbon atoms which are attached to functional group they are known as alpha carbon and the hydrogen atoms which are attached to it these alpha carbons are known as alpha hydrogens 
so there is no beta carbon because beta carbon means another carbon atoms which are attached to the alpha carbon so all of these hydrogens are alpha hydrogens but for resonance we know that a conjugation should be there that means single bond double bond single bond double bond a conjugation should be there which we have seen in case of benzene but here no conjugation has been found but still if it loses one hydrogen atom like this then resonance can take place easily so it is known as hyperconjugation hyperconjugation means no bond resonance that means when alpha hydrogens are removed here i have removed this one so i can remove this one i can remove this one so all of these hydrogens are equal so when alpha hydrogens from an alkene has been removed and it take part in resonance it is known as hyperconjugation so how many hyperconjugative hydrogens are there propene has three hyperconjugative hydrogens so here if we consider our next compound that is 2 butene we know 1 2 3 4 or 1 2 3 4 whatever the starting point may be it is 2 butene so here how many alpha carbons are there this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon so how many alpha hydrogens are there six alpha hydrogens are present there so this alkene is much more stable than this why because more number of alpha hydrogen that means more hyperconjugation that means more stability so the question comes in your board exam or competitive level that if it is propene if it is butene and you know if this compound is there then it may be cis may be trans so what is mean by cis and trans cis and trans means if we put same group in the same site then it is known as cis so it is cis to butene and if we put same group in the opposite side diagonally they are same so they are known as trans but here cis compounds in case of cis compounds there is steady repulsion between these two methyl groups but in case of trans compounds there is no steady repulsion so here stability order will be trans then cis then our propene so this is the basic fundamentals of hyperconjugation by which we can get some idea regarding the stability of alkenes now come to the next part that is inductive effect what is mean by inductive effect inductive effect can be classified as two parts namely plus i effect and minus i effect what is plus i effect if methyl iodide is there then what is happening as carbon iodine is more electronegative than carbon so these bonded electrons are more attracted towards iodine so here delta negative charge which is known as partial negative charge and here delta positive charge should be there so this is referred to as plus i effect with respect to this methyl group as it has electron pushing effect and this is known as the minus i effect with respect to this halogen as it has electron withdrawing or attracting power now come to the part that is most important is known as plus r effect and minus r effect what is mean by plus r plus r effect means it is shown in case of aromatic compounds that is if we put here aniline then we know that these pi electrons are removing within the benzene ring but as aniline has also some lone pairs so as these groups have lone pairs so they have 
some ability to donate these loan pairs or to delocalize these loan pairs towards the benzene ring. That is why this type of effect is known as plus R. And if we, we consider nitrobenzene as our product, then what is happening? Between carbon and nitrogen, which one is more electronegative? Nitrogen. And nitrogen has got positive charge. So these electrons are attracted towards the reverse direction as compared to the previous one. So this is known as our minus R effect. So which group has plus R effect? Which group has minus R effect? We need to memorize. Plus R effect group are known as NH2 if it is attached with benzene ring, any halogen because all of them, all of them has lone pairs on their head. If NHCOCH3 group is attached, if OH group is attached, OCH3 group is attached and all alkyl groups they have also alkyl group means they have methyl if they have uh, ethyl propyl all of them also have the ability to activity the electron donating power of benzene ring so they are known as our ring activator towards electrophilic substitution and minus r effect which group has minus r effect Minus R effect means here we need to write minus R effect means NO2 group, CN group, CHO group, CWH group, COCH3 group. All of these groups have minus R effect. That means they have the resonance like this one. And plus R effect, all of these have the resonance like this one. So minus R effect actually what is happening here, they reduces the elect electron donating capacity of benzene ring. So they are known as ring deactivator, ring deactivator towards electrophilic substitution. So this is some basic concept of plus R effect and minus R effect. Now come to the organic acid base strength. That is, we need to remember, plus I effect, plus R effect, they increases basicity and minus I effect, minus R effect, they increases acidity. How can we prove that? If we consider here formic, acetic acid, sorry, if we consider here acetic acid, ethanoic acid or acetic acid. And if we consider here monochloroacetic acid, then we need to compare the acidity of this. Here, no minus I group is present, but here chlorine is present, which has minus I effect because chlorine is more electronegative than carbon. So, what is happening there? Between oxygen and carbon, which one is more electronegative? Oxygen. So these electrons are attracted towards oxygen and positive charge is there. And to neutralize this positive charge, this carbon will attract electron from this side as well as this side. So this oxygen will also have positive charge. And then this oxygen will attract the electrons from this hydrogen to neutralize this positive charge. So which hydrogen is acidic here? Obviously, this hydrogen. Though it has four hydrogen, but which hydrogen is acidic here? This hydrogen attached to it oxygen. But here, this factor is also operating here. But additional factor is the minus I effect of chlorine. So carbon will have partial positive charge. Therefore, what is happening? This oxygen attracting the electrons from carbon. So carbon atom will have positive charge and as well as this carbon atom will also attract these electrons towards itself. So this carbon atom will have more and more positive charge. Therefore to neutralize this, 
it will attract the electrons from oxygen in a more rapid manner and again oxygen will attract the electrons in rapid manner than the previous one so the elimination of H plus from this compound will be more easier than this so if it is 1 and if it is 2 then we can easily say that 2 is much more acidic than 1 so if here CCl3 CWH is there trichloroacetic acid so more number of minus i effect that means more acidic property it will have so if it is 3 then the acidic order correct acidic order will be 3 greater than 2 greater than 1 and basic strength how can we identify basic strength that is if we follow the basicity of methylamine and the basicity of aniline we know that this is aniline and this is methylamine so in previous uh, in earlier I discussed that aniline has the ability to donate these lone pairs to the benzene ring so these lone pairs are engaged or involved in the resonance with benzene ring so these lone pairs have less tendency to be donated to any other acidic substances but here no such resonance is there as well as I have discussed this methyl group has plus I effect so it increases the electron donating effect and therefore this electron can be donated to any other electrophilic substances or the substances which have acidic property so between if it is 1 and if it is 2 then which one is more basic obviously 2 is less basic than 1 because these lone pairs are less available for donation because basicity is determined by the property electron donating ability if ethyl amine should be there then what will be the order of this basic nature obviously ethyl amine is more basic because as compared to methyl ethyl group has more electron donating ability so if number three compound is there then we can write this three is more basic than one than two so plus i effect increases basicity and minus i effect increases acidity